Hey there, this is Don Mars Ortiz, and I know I've been talking a lot about planning for the new year and planning your marketing promotions in 2016. And so I wanted to show you, give you a sample of what my calendar looks like when I'm planning out a year of promotion. So this is just the first month, right? This is what I'm planning for the first month. And so you can see everything is color coordinated. And if you look down on the side, I've got different calendars here. So I've got my Don Mars calendars. I'm going to show you that in a minute. I actually have it turned off. Then I've got advertising, email promotions, Mars marketing blog posts, social media posts, tasks, and webinars. So those are the, the main types of marketing that I'm doing. These are the moving pieces that I tend to be using the most. And so in order to set up a calendar, all you would do is hover over my calendars and click here and say create new calendar. And so let's say that you were doing press releases. It was something you were working on. Then you would just call it press releases here. You could put in a description of that this is going to be your press releases. Put in anything else here that you want to do and then create calendar. This is pretty much all that I do. So I'm going to create the calendar and you're going to see that it shows up here and it's showing up in red. I want to change the color of this calendar. So I'm going to choose a custom color and I'm going to make it uh, what's the color I'm not using. I'm kind of using them all. We'll use this light blue ish color. There's really not much difference. Let's try something else. We're going with brown. Okay, so what you do then is try to figure out when you're going to be doing your promotion. So for example, I know that I like to produce my content and put out my blog content on Wednesdays. And so in order to do that, I just click on the days that I want to do a blog. So you can see I do it every week or every second week, depending on what my schedule is, because I'm doing a webinar on this week. Uh, I'm not going to write a blog post because I'm going to have a lot of work to do. And I think kind of understanding when your busiest times are going to be is really important so that you don't overwhelm yourself. Because if I was trying to do a webinar on a, a Tuesday and Wednesday and also put out blog content, I would be completely overwhelmed. So I just don't, I just make sure I'm not doing that. But let's say I did want to put out a blog post. I would just click on the date I want the blog post and I would call it blog and this might be about, uh, let's say this was about lead generation. Okay. And here I'm going to choose the calendar because I'm doing a blog post. I'm going to choose blog posts and I'm going to create that event. So what that does is it creates an all day event and kind of blocks your calendar. Now, something that I really like to use with Google calendars is tasks. If I know I have a blog post coming up, then I know I need to task myself to actually write it. So there's a couple things you can do um, inside of this, inside of this task, or sorry, this calendar thing that I have here. <laughs> I can go in here and say edit event. Okay, so now that I'm in the event and I can edit it, I can say down here, I can add a notification and I can tell it to notify me two days ahead of time because I want at least two days lead time to prepare myself and get that blog post done. So I'm going to make myself a notification that's going to give me a pop up at 9am two days ahead. If you think you might need more than one, you can always add additional pop ups or you can also send yourself an email. So I'm just going to have one because one's all I need and I'm going to save that. So I'm going to get a notification because of that. But what I really like is what you'll notice on the side is that I have tasks. And so what I do is I click on the day that I actually want to task myself to do the blog post. And I'm going to type in here content and then I'm going to say write blog post. All right. And so in here, we're not changing it to calendar. We're actually going to task and you can write a note about what your blog post is going to be about. That's, you know, a, a good practice to do and then create your task. So now you can see it showed up over here. So this is my list of to do items. And if you want to have it organized like this, what you need to do is click on actions. And then you want to like, you can say view completed tasks, view in my order. And so if I go to my order, it looks like this, but what I want to do is sort by due date so that the, the first task is due up here. And what that means is let's say that I complete this task. I finish my blog post. I can check the little box and it crosses it off. It kind of like closes the loop and I know it's done. So now I know, that the next thing that I'm going to need to work on once I get past this, like I've written my email and I've, I've done everything that needed to happen for that blog post to be syndicated. I know that my next task is to write my next blog post for next week. So if I have time blocked in my week that I'm not doing anything, I can just move ahead and get started on what needs to be done next week.
this keeps me super, super organized. And on the ball, it saves me from basically sitting at my desk and wondering what I should do next and reorganizing my pens and pencils because I'm, you know, feeling lost or stuck and not knowing what I should do. Now, another really cool feature of Google Calendars that you should definitely be using if you are not already is this calendar down here. So right now, because I live in the United States, you can see there's holidays in the United States, which is cool because I have it set up to be in red. So it shows me glaringly when there are holidays, right? So I've got New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, Martin Luther King Day, that's all coming up in January. So I know that I need to do promotions based around that because I work in the US market. Now I also work in the Australian and Canadian markets. So if you click on other calendars right here, you can go to browse interesting calendars and it's going to show you all these different things. So Christian holidays, Muslim holidays, Jewish, all this kind of stuff. And then it's got by country. So if I want to do Australia, I could click here and say preview. And it's going to show me all of the cool holidays that are going on in Australia. So if you've got a lot of customers in Australia, if you've got a lot of people on your on your list in Australia, then you might want to make sure that you are talking, you know, you're speaking their language and promoting for things that they actually care about. Because like the Adelaide Cup, not such a big thing in Canada or the US, but it would matter to your Australian customers and what matters to your customers should matter to you. So Harmony Day, for example, I don't think that that's a Canadian or a US holiday, Anzac Day. Um, these are things that you may want to be thinking about and have on your calendar. So I'm going to close out of this. And what I can do is actually subscribe to this calendar. And I also want to go and grab Canada because I am from Canada and I market in Canada. So I'm going to use those two calendars. And now I can go back to my calendar and you can see that they've been added here. And I'm going to make them in bright colors. I'll make uh, Canada. Well, there we go. So now I'm not going to miss these things because they're actually showing up in bold colors on my calendar. And if I just want to look at those, I can actually turn off all of these, right, to kind of, uh, you know, make it easier to look at. If I just want to see my, my email promotions or if I just want to see holidays. So I'm going to turn everything back on so it looks the way that it did. So that's just one little secret that I wanted to share with you so that you don't miss a beat with anybody that you're promoting to in any country um, that you make sure and observe the things that they care about. So let's talk a bit about time blocking because what I've done here is just kind of laid out all of the different moving pieces. I love the color coding. I love knowing all the moving pieces. Like for example, if you look here where I've got a webinar, a webinar is not just a webinar. You actually have to create your webinar, create your slides, set it up, right? So you need to, to have a registration page made. You need to have email promotions. You need to run your ads. You need to have your social media posts. And I think that what happens is like, let's say you've decided you're going to run a webinar. It's really easy to forget about all those different pieces that need to happen. And so it's really easy to, to end up getting overwhelmed. So just having this on your calendar, like, okay, I need, I know I need these email promotion piece going out in order for this webinar to be a success and having those emails pre-written, it takes so much, so much pressure off. Okay. And then you can focus on just delivering great value, great content and, you know, selling, if you're going to be selling a program or a product to just really perform at your highest level and not be worried about all the marketing pieces. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn on my Don Mars calendar, which I promised you I would do. So I'm going to click here. And you're going to see it all of a sudden looks really busy and I don't want you to be overwhelmed by that. What I'm going to do is show you here why I have all of these different little Don Mars tasks. I'm going to show you in week view. So this is basically is my calendar being blocked off. So I've got this calendar, this, uh, this calendar that actually is the first one that was created as part of my calendar. And what I do is when I want to block time to do something like I need time blocked for blogging, I need time blocked for email marketing. I put them in my calendar. So to do that, let's say the week that I'm working on the webinar, I'm going to go over here and you can see that I've got um, ads for this lead generation secrets webinar. Well, I'm going to need to set aside some time to actually do that. So on this week, I didn't have that blocked off, but I'm actually going to go ahead and block off two hours to set up the ads for that. And I'm going to say ads.
and I'm going to leave it on Don Mars. And this time when I create the event, because I've actually been, I actually blocked a time for it. What it's doing is it actually makes it busy. And that means that like other clients can't book into my calendar. When I wake up that morning, I know that's what I'm working on. All right. So this basically tells me when I need to have these things running and blocking your calendar like this tells you when you need to be working on them. So I hope this is helpful. This is just a way that I've found that's really, um, it's really working well for me to keep my life organized, my business life organized, because once you set up a Google calendar, you can sync it with your phone. You can make sure that you're getting notifications. It makes your life so much easier. And so rather than, you know, feeling stuck and wondering like, what should I be working on today? What should I be doing? Set yourself up a calendar like this. You know, if, if this looks setting up an entire year feels overwhelming, just go ahead and knock out the first three months of your year. What is the first quarter going to look like? Are you going to do a webinar at some point in, in the first quarter? Are you going to do email marketing? Are you going to do, a, uh, you know, run ads to build your list? Whatever it is, block that time out in your calendar and show yourself a visual representation of what it is you're going to get done. And I promise you, you will be so much more productive than you ever would have believed possible. So when you do actually implement this, I would love to see what you've done. Go ahead and take a screenshot and post it here. Have an amazing holiday season and I will talk to you soon.